Blog Talk Radio. Hey, listen up. You could go listen to the same old boring radio. You know, the same five songs 50 million times a day. You could zone out to your favorite MP3. Till can't get that ringing out of my head. I'm sure you heard all the drone podcast mumbo jumbo. I'm here to do my radio show. Don't you deserve more for your hard earned money? On Teal Time Radio, you get entertainment value. We take pride in our shows and don't release junk. You won't find anywhere else. So if you're a diehard Jags fan like me, or a reality TV nut like my old lady, or a non-stop gamer like my son, you want the best entertainment your money can buy. Heck yeah! So give us a chance. We will make you laugh yourself right off your chair. And isn't that what life is about? Having a good time listening to something you love? So sit back, relax, and have a cold one. And be sure to join us on Teal Time Radio. The only Wizard Media podcast app that really knocks your socks off. New stuff added nearly every day. Check back often. Guaranteed you won't find more content anywhere for under two bucks. Welcome to Teal Time Radio. The show that is just different than all the others out there. You know... Like like Arad said, well, you could go listen to a different kind of radio station, but why would you want to? Why would you want to hear the same old boring stuff 50 million times a day? Why would you want to hear the same old blah, blah, blah entertainment? All right, so what we basically do is, uh, oh, sh- shoot, I forgot to introduce my co-host. Say hi, Chrissy. Hello, everybody. That's the beautiful Chrissy. And what we basically do on this show is we talk about various topics. We have different shows that we incorporate into one. For instance, you know, we have the latest, you know, information on the Jags. And, you know, we've had a bunch of uh, podcasts, which we've done on the Jags, everything from what has happened in free agency with the Jaguars uh, re-signing Shipley and uh, getting that new guy, Jones. Not much. We've been quiet. Uh, we talk about uh, lizard lick towing, and maybe you could speak a little about, about what we do there. Uh, when it comes to lizard lick, we basically talk about everything new that's going on on the shows. Basically, it, it starts off, we tell you about what's happened on each episode. And we give you the rundown, and we tell you if anything's new is going to happen, if they're going to have any meetups anywhere, because every once in a while they do do their meetups. What else, fun? And we just have fun. We add our whole, you know, thing of entertainment, our old brand, where, you know, you could, like I said before, you could listen to other radio shows, and they'll just give a review. But with us, we like to add our little flares, like we have our little quirks, we're funny, we're out there, a little outrageous sometimes. So um, other other streams we've done, we've done TNA, which we just started. We meant to do that like a month ago and everything, but things don't always pan out the way you want it, you know? Exactly, and we got so busy with doing uh, t- with doing. Everything with Lizard Lake and yeah. Bar Rescue. Yeah, we did Bar Rescue. Yep. We did game reviews and, you know, just different things. Yep. Now, as far as who we are, we're just the mom and pops podcasters. Exactly. We're, we're just a normal family. Yeah, a normal family. But what makes us different from the other podcasters out there is that we plan on being the best. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no halfway about it. We will be the best. We That's have a real. website, tealtimeradio.com. When we get a, a better web developer, it, it will look better. Right now, it's good enough for yep, what it is. It is. We have more. We have more. Uh, yeah, more. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> See, having trouble talking. That's what happens. Yeah, exactly. We have our apps. You know, an Amazon uh, marketplace, but really it's on a Google marketplace, which makes no sense to me because it, it's 
it should just be on Google Marketplace, but Google wants to, you know, do their own thing, and then you got to download a third-party app from Amazon. It makes no sense. Like I said, I get upset over nothing. <laughs> That's what makes me <laughs> different. Yep. And we're just funny. We just, you know, we take the normal stuff and we just kind of make, not make fun of it, but we kind of make something funny out of it. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to make you laugh. And on the Amazon, as I was saying before, is uh, we have the, you know, I think it's called the Podcast app. And on iTunes, we have the Podbox app. And other than that, you know, we've got our feed through Lipson. We've been, uh, you know, we've had the account for almost a month now. Very happy with them as yep. far as the hosting company. That we are. And, oh, yeah, what else do we do? Oh, we have our own show. It's called Happy Hour. It's a crazy, outrageous show that we're probably going to stream, start streaming live on here to see what people think about it. Well, we just do basically a trivia or just little funny things we find on the, you know, on the on the Internet. Yeah, either on the Internet or we just make up things. Yeah. It's kind of like the Seinfeld, the show that actually doesn't matter. Nothing matters, but it's funny as heck, so you don't care. Right, it's just entertainment, pure entertainment, just like Seinfeld. Exactly. So we figured uh, we'd just do a little thing here, and it looks like we have 23 minutes Right now, I'm not going to lie to you, we have no callers, but we didn't expect any callers. I mean, we're telling people to tune in, but like 30 minutes before the show. Come on now. People need time. People have lives. People have to go to work in the morning because it's Sunday. I mean, if this was done on a Friday or something, you know, it would matter. I don't even know if there's anybody listening. If there's anybody listening, if you'd like to call in, it'd be like, shut up already. You feel free. That's what interactive radio is about, you yeah, know? exactly what it's about. Just kind of letting you get to know us and know what we're about until, you know, we are ready to get on air with uh, about our shows or about whatever we're going to do. Yeah, normally we have, you know, something somewhat scripted that we're going to say. But tonight it was just a spare of the moment. I seen blog talk radio. I'm like, all right, I'm wondering what the heck this is about and everything, and I'm like, oh, it's interactive. That'd be awesome for our fan base. He said, oh, that sounds fun. Let's try this. I said, okay. Yeah, why, why not? not? And, I mean, we're, we're just a difference. I mean, you can, like I said before, you can listen to most people, but most people just, like, they're, like, so into depth into something, or even when we talk about the Jaguars, it isn't just stats. Stats don't tell the whole story. No. Stats won't tell why Gene Smith failed. Exactly. Stats, Stats won't tell you why we have the wrong quarterback, the wrong this, the wrong that. You, you know, we need to tell you all this in depth so you will know and understand if you don't follow the Jags or you just haven't had a chance to look and find out what's going on on Jaguars.com, you know? Yeah, exactly, on Jaguars.com. Um, you know, who Big Cat Country is an affiliate of them. Yep. You know, and on our website, we talk about the Mold City Brigade and basically what they are. They form the foundation to sell, the, you know, to get people to buy tickets and be excited about the Jaguars, which everyone should. With them going international and everything, it, you know, it helps. Now, as far as our Lizard Lick thing, it was just a thing that we just decided to do one day. Well, we happen to be watching the shows, and we love the show so much, and we want Bobby and Ronnie and Amy to all know how much we enjoy the show. So we figure this is the best way to let them know. Hopefully that one of them will hear it and, you know, like our show. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, voice opinions. And the thing that I like about us is when, when I grew up, you know, if I have, you know, a love for something, I want to express it to somebody. Right. But, however, when you try to express to the actual people, you never get a response back. Right, but I think Lizard looks a lot different because I think Bobby and Ronnie and Amy are just normal people like everybody else. Uh, that's not what I was saying. I was just saying why we're here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm just explaining to them also about, you know. I, I was, we're basically like a third party, okay? You're not going exactly. to get a hold of, you know, the main site. And we may not be able to get a hold of the main people. But as we grow... 
will have more influence with things. Exactly, and who knows? Ronnie's kids are old. Well, his oldest kid is old enough that his oldest kid may happen to be looking on the radio. I mean, on the radio. Oh, boy, here I go. There on we go. On the computer, he may find it, and he may say, hey, Dad, listen to this. These people are talking about lizard lick. And this ain't a lot of nice stuff about your, you know, about your show and about, you know, you and Mom and, you know, uh -huh. and everybody, you know. So that might be kind of cool. You never know. Things happen. Bobby's got uh, Rodney's got kids and Bobby. Yeah. Bobby's got kids, too. I forgot about that. Yep. It, and it, his kid's in his 20s. Exactly. Well, I mean, we also did the Bar Rescue, which I thought came out good. Yep. I mean, we missed out on some parts, like... Details. Who cares about little details? A little bar here, what the name here, there. What the person. Yeah. Was. Who cares? I mean, I mean, it's not that we don't care. It's just, I mean, as normal humans, you forget things. I mean. Exactly. It's simple as that. I mean, but if you really have to, if you haven't heard us, listen to our podcast because we have some very funny ones, and you know. We actually care. We do have a fan base. Unfortunately, right now, most of them are sleeping or working or doing something other than calling in. But exactly. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to catch my friend off guard one day. I'm going to call him and be like, you're on the air with Teal Time Radio. He'll be like, what are you calling me for? What's going on? I can just hear him now. But he's funny as anything, folks. You get him on here. He will crack you up. Exactly. We can't wait because um, we're hoping to add him and his girl soon enough so they can come on and get you laughing because they make you want to roll on the floor and laugh. Exactly. And we're just an entertainment. That's why we're under the, you know, form of entertainment. I could easily put it under sports, but sports to me isn't all we're about. No, we're not about just sports. <laughs> we're not all about just Lizard Lick. We're not all about just Bar Rescue. We're about having fun and, you know, enjoying ourselves. And if you don't believe us, download our comedy show off our lips and oh, under Teal Time, so Teal Time Radio. I'm telling you, you, you will laugh for a good half an hour, an hour. Let me tell you something, folks. He was listening to it. And while my husband was listening to it, he was cracking up, laughing at just listening to our show. It was so funny, though. I know, but I heard you upstairs laughing. Wasn't I'm it funny? And I'm wondering what he's laughing at. I come downstairs and I'm listening, and I'm like, I started laughing. It really is. It's fun. We enjoyed it. And we know that you can listen to a million different podcasts, and we, we don't have no disrespect towards anyone else. Nope. But I think what we're doing, the A's backwards way, yep. is funny. I think what we stand for and the way we go about things is funny. We're detailed, but at the same time, we know how to crack a joke. Exactly. Not only that, but we're not the same as everybody else. We have our own way. They have their own way, and that's the way I look at it. Exactly, and we're not going any, anywhere anytime soon. And whether we have zero listeners, five listeners, 500, doesn't matter. But I will tell you how fast we were growing. We started off last month, and these are real stats. Yep. And keep in mind, we're podcasters. We're not bloggers. Even though we're on Blog Talk Radio, we don't have, like, an actual – we don't do uh, paragraphs and paragraphs of blogs every day. We just don't. And we're podcasters. Right, exactly. You know, doing our own radio. But we went from – our stats last month were 52. And that was with us just starting. And that was with us just starting. And as I look at the stats right now, this is no joke – and everything. Okay? Once I can actually log in, that would help. <laughs> yeah, it might. La, 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 not again. Wow! Okay, we just broke 250. Nice. We went from 52 last month, and we just broke 250. So that means we're almost four times the amount we did last month. Yeah, we are. We've only been in business for about a month now. And if that isn't, you know, good, and I'm talking about without advertisements. I just added us into the podcast directory today. And you we, know? And we, our stats actually we went up 252, no, 202, I'm sorry, 202 more listeners than we had last month. 
is no, that is, yeah, two hundred two. Yeah, two hundred two. Well, I mean, that, that's see. downloads. That's not total listeners because we have people that stream things and everything else. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, so. but we still would. You know, we're we're getting there. But uh, in the future, we plan on doing some contests. Once we have the you know finances to do so, it'd be fun. We just plan on uh, you know doing some polls, trivia's, and everything else. But like I said, you know, I work a normal job too, but at one point the dream or the hope or the reality or the scope or the something or the other, what the fit is, uh, you know, to just do this. That's what, you know, that's what we're planning. Just to do it and enjoy it and have fun with it, you Yeah, know? exactly. And be able to, like, some sort of little tour or, you know, sign, you know, autographs or whatever. Not that we're any better than anybody else, and that's not what we're stating. No. We're, we're just stating that we're going to put more, we're going to invest more time into it. Yeah, we want to put our effort into it. Yeah, put our best foot forward. I mean, so, I mean, we're, we're, we like to have fun, though, you know? Exactly. Not only that, but you know what? He works a regular job. And you need something to just have fun with, to relax at night. And this is our relaxation at night. You know, we have our, I have my things I do during the day, and he works. So, you know, we have to have something that we enjoy, and this is it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We it, love doing it. It's stress-free. It's, you can have a fun. You can say whatever the, you want. Yep. And, you know, you have people who respond. You have people that you know, don't like you, you have people that do like you, but that's just part of life, and that's just part of the game, and that's just part of things that happen, you know? But, you know, when we have these uh, future, what is this called? Oh, yeah, Black Talk Radio. Oh, my gosh, you forgot the name. Uh, I'm right right in front of my face. What am I going to do with him? I don't know. You know, we're going to have segments. We're actually going to do a live podcast, which they are going to be recorded. We like to record everything and upload everything. Yep. And, uh, you know, so if you call in, you've ever wanted to be, you know, on a on the air, you know, on a, on a radio, be able to download somewhere and tell all your friends, hey, I, I was on the radio with these cool people. Well, Feel free to join join up. Oh, if you don't know the number, the guest call in is 917-889-7873. We'll be on the air for another 12 minutes. So we really don't expect anybody would since we just started tonight to to well, join, man, but not yet. Um, you know, I'm hopeful that people will. I mean, I know people. I'm not hopeful. I know people will call in. But like I said, we just started. It's our first night, so we didn't expect anybody the first yeah, night. Yeah, stuff just takes time. Of course. But we just want to let you know who we are, what we're about, you know, and as you see as we go on, you will see that we are very funny when we, you know, we do all our, our joking and laughing and you know, stuff like that. Exactly. Okay, I got a, I got a story here. There you go. Okay, I was out in Tennessee, and don't get me wrong, I love Tennessee. Me too. You know, Buddy's Barbecue is fantastic okay. barbecue. Crystal's is the best little burgers in the friggin' world you couldn't you, even imagine. Let me tell you something. You eat a Crystal burger, it melts in your mouth. That thing is so good. But anyway, when I was out there, there happened to be black ice on the road, and if no one knows, if... Yeah, no one knows what black ice is. I'm sure there's plenty of people who drive. <laughs> oh, my God, hon. What are we going to do with you? But anyway, okay. So anyway, I'm driving on the road, driving slow because it's black ice, and I know I'm going to skid. Okay? So anyway, there happens to be these three trucks. This is the funny part. They all pass me. They think because they have their big old trucks with their monster truck tires that they're immune to black ice. I'm not kidding you. All, what are these people thinking? All three trucks, not even a mile down the road, and it was down on Alkilia Highway. It's really called Alcoa, but it's nicknamed Alkilia, or Alkilia, because uh, there's a lot of accidents that happen on that highway. But, um... Anyway, I go up a mile up the road, 
and one trucks in the ditch into a fence, and the other two ran into trees. And I can't help but laughing my tail off. But I'll tell you another story. I was working for this car wash, and this is a crazy thing. I, I, I was working for this car wash uh, called the uh, Finish Line out in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And I was over on prepping, prepping the car, you know, using the power washer and everything. Yep, getting it ready to be washed. And there was this girl, and she was talking to her friends. And you're supposed to, when you put the car into, you know, the area to be about washed, you're supposed to, you know, put it in neutral and shut the car off. But no, this girl had to keep on, keep the car in drive as she's talking to her friends, you know, with her seatbelt off. I kept on telling her, look, lady, you have to shut, shut the car off and put it in neutral and get out. She's like, you know, giving me the... The whatever sign and everything. So anyway, as she's giving me, you know, the whatever sign, this dummy decides to accidentally step on the gas. Thank oh, God I was right there. Because I pulled her out of the car, which the car ended up slamming into, into a Mercedes. Oh, my God. And that car, this is, this is even where it gets even worse. That car hits a truck, hits hits the back of a truck, which starts rolling down the hill. Oh my God! And I'm yelling, I'm yelling at the dude in the front. I'm like, get out of the way! He decides to play Superman with the truck, thinking he's gonna stop the truck. Are these people crazy? So the long story short, the girl then is mad at me because her car crashed, not because I saved her life, but God forbid her car is totaled, which a, is not fault. not my fault at That's all. Her fault. But but I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. And at the same time, you know, dude's got an ambulance coming because you don't play Superman with a fucking truck coming down a hill. Period. Dum dum. So I just felt like sharing that story. Uh, if anybody's listening, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so uh, since we're on funny stories, hey, why don't you share a story? I don't really have a story, but let me tell you something. If you ever get out to Tennessee, it is beautiful out there. Unless you want me to tell you about what our little trip was like when we went out there. Should we share our trip out there, what it was like? Wait, which part of the trip? Well, let me see. Should we talk about the haunted cabin we stayed in? Okay. The haunted cabin? Oh, yeah. Yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, now our 13, well, he was actually 11, uh, 12 at the time, sorry. You don't even know how old our son is. I know, he's 13, but he was 12 at the time. And he was at uh, in the cabin in his room. And it was late at night. You better hurry up. And, and it was me. Me and my my husband and our two, our two friends, him and his girl. Anyway, so we're laying in our room downstairs, and they're in the room next to our sons. Uh-huh. And I hear him talking to somebody. Okay. So the next morning, my friend comes up to me and says, your son was talking to somebody last night. I don't know who. Come Must to find out. Child. Yep. Come to find out it was the ghost of a little boy. And we'd see all kinds of shadows and all kinds of weird things. It was spooky. What, it what, was fun. Why don't you tell them about the hot tub that's not connected? It wasn't connected to any kind of power Oh, power yeah. But it kept on going We on. had a hot tub. And the hot tub wasn't connected to anything. But somehow this stupid thing kept kicking on. I swear there was something in that house that didn't want us there. It was freaky. And then when we went to leave, because I had that, I had that, you know, urge. It's like, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, it was spooky. We all got real freaked out the last night. We had, we had this. We first we seen cops all over, and then we went to a place that I think it was like a Waffle House. Yep. And it was this dude in his truck. And I watched him get out of the truck, and I seen he was fine. He was sober as a judge. Okay, and then all of a sudden he starts trying to pretend he's drunk. Now I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, you must think I'm one dumb northerner that didn't catch it. So I just damn pretended Yankees. I didn't. Yeah, I say we'd say down there, damn Yankees. 
Well, so I just pretended I didn't see nothing, and I went back to talking to the people we were with. And later on, I told them about it. Well, go ahead. Exactly. The crazy thing about it was this guy was the exact face we seen on a picture when we originally came in. To make it even get, uh, you know, spookier. Actually, not. there was no pictures on the mantle when you looked at the mantle. But when we took a picture of the mantle, that same man's picture. Uh, face showed up on it. Yeah, exactly. Now, where did that come from? That is freaky. To be beyond that, there happened to be a landscaper while we were in there. And he had two tractors, but it's just him. Yep. Why do you need two tractors if it was one person? Doesn't make any sense to me. And the funny part is, though, when he was cutting the grass, our friend that happened to be with him, with us, I mean, went over and he was, look, I guess, looking on the grass. He was walking around, him and his girl. No big deal. So they're looking and they're going, wait a minute. They come up to my husband and they say, that grass was not even cut. It looks the same as it did yesterday. Exactly. It was like he was trying to cut grass, but he wasn't cutting crap at all. all exactly. Up. He wasn't cutting anything. So, uh, but Was he a ghost or wasn't he? He was a ghost. We will never know. Yeah. What was that? But that's what makes uh, Tennessee so much fun. Yeah, t- Tennessee's cool. Uh, you know, out here is cool and everything. I love Tennessee. But we just wanted to share a couple stories and whatnot and just get a background of who we are and and whatnot and how, what, why, how, what for and go yeah. Jags and go Lizard Lick and go TNA Wrestling Screw WWE, sorry. <laughs> I agree, sorry. Uh, let's see here, what else? Oh, yeah, check out our comedy show. It will be aired weekly. Check out our podcast over at Lip Sync. Well, our tailtimeradio.com will definitely be doing and we're And this is a lot of fun, whether we had people call in or not. You know, we had a lot of fun doing this. We sure did. And I can make some outbound calls soon to people, and it's going to be funny. I oh, will, yeah. too. <laughs> we will definitely be adding our friends and calling them and having them call in. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we're, we're glad, you know, if anybody's listening or streamed in, we're glad that you, you know, popped in. And, uh, yeah, the hiccups there, babe, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, on uh, Blog Talk Radio, yeah, we, we'll definitely start doing more shows. Definitely. This This is a lot of fun. I think we're going to start posting some uh, episodes this way, too. We'll try it this way. We're going to keep our hosting company, but we're going to try something different and make it interactive, and then maybe the phone lines will ring. Or maybe the phone lines have been ringing. We've been tricking you all all along, and we just have not answered a dang thing. <laughs> maybe. You'll never know. The only way you'll ever know is if you give us a call. That's, That's it. Right. But uh, we're glad that you joined us, and we'll definitely, we normally have, like, what, like five, six, seven shows a week? Yeah, I'm, and we really hope to hear from you, you know, we enjoy doing this, and we're talking about Exactly. So please uh, feel free to, you know, catch us on TealTimeRadio.com. You can catch us on uh, Ray and Chrissy Facebook page. You can catch the CT Jags uh, Twitter, and I'm normally on Jaguars.com, the forum, and we're we're just oh normal people. Yeah, well, yeah, I know there's 60 seconds. <laughs> Why you gotta I tell me? I think we know how to count. <laughs> <laughs> I think this thing don't know thing we know how to count. Hmm. Oh wow! Don't say too much. We don't want to be kicked off our first bite. Oh, no, they know we're only kidding. We're just having fun. I'm sure if I threw some Metallica on or something, we'd have people, the lines would be all like, or if I did some kind of, like, dating. I love Metallica. You know, like, a relationship guy, like. Oh, brother. Imagine me trying to be the relationship. That'd be funny. Maybe we should try it sometime. Ah, there you go. You need some uh, relationship help, hey, call in, you know? I don't know. All right, here we go. In nine, eight, seven. 
That's so what it said. Anyway, check us out on Teal Time Radio. Have a good night. Take care. <laughs>